earlier this week when Bitcoin spiked all the way up to $28,000, I was warning you guys. I was very clear the more likely we were going to see a 50% retracement of this entire move. But not only did we get a 50% retracement of the entire move, we actually retraced the entire move. And not only did we, did we retrace the entire move, we actually are trading lower than we were on Tuesday. So this was when the price of Bitcoin started to take off from 26,000, uh, uh, basically, you know, $25,900 all the way up to 28,000. And then we had this pullback right here. And then, you know, you have the capitulation right here. The reason I was very concerned is because this is not normal, guys. You know, this right here is not normal. and especially when it is you know something that is few by the news and when clearly you know the overall trend was down right so we were in a very clear downtrend and that was one of the reason I was very cautious. And another reason was because I needed to see more than you know a $2,000 move in you know in a matter of minutes if not hours. You know, I needed to see something that was going to be sustainable. And what that means is that you have it to give it some time. You have to give us some time. So I was very confident, you know, predicting that I am, you know, going to keep my eyes on this thing and see what the next couple days were going to look like. But I was also very confident that more likely we were going to see a 50% drop of this move. And the reason behind that was because you had these levels right here that was going to act as a support right you had these levels that were going to act as a support and when you look at what the price of bitcoin was doing you know compared to moving average i mean the price of bitcoin was about you know 20 percent further from the 21 moving average whenever you have things like this where the price is way too extended you know further away from moving average uh, whenever you have something like this I guarantee you, 99.99%, you are going to see a retracement, you know, back to retest the moving average. So those, are, those were some of the reasons I was very confident that Bitcoin was going to pull back. Now, this right here, like this entire retracement, it is actually not a surprise. And the reason that is also not a surprise is because, and again, we talked about this. I need you guys to take a look at the setup of Bitcoin on the daily time frame. You know, earlier in August, we had a very clear bearish confirmation when the 21 moving average, you know, crossed below the 50 moving average. Like that was a very clear bearish confirmation. And whenever you have something like this, you know, your moving average are going to become resistance. The very same way. When your moving average are positive, when your 21 moving average is above the 50 moving average and the price is above them, the very same way when you get a retracement, they act as a support. When the price is below them, any move to the upside, they are going to act as a resistance. And this is something I talked about. I was very clear that you needed to watch out for the 21 moving average acting as a resistance but if we take out the 21 moving average the 50 moving average was also going to act as a resistance and if you look at where we got rejected it was exactly at the 50 daily moving average so 
I had many other reasons, you know, to be bearish on Bitcoin, despite this move right here. So now that we got rejected and we pulled all the way back, and now that we are actually breaking these levels right here, I have a specific target that I am very, very interested in. in and that is a, a potential target that I think Bitcoin is going to retest. And I'm going to show you what that, where that is. So if I show you this right here, where you can see you know, a lot of more data, uh, now you can see you know, the price and the performance of Bitcoin going all the way back into, into 2022. You know, I need you to take a look at to the left right here. Where the price of Bitcoin is right now, there is a lot of, you know, very, very interesting support. You have this range right here. All right. That is going to act as a support. And if you look at this level right here, guys, I want you to take a look at this level. Let me bring this right down here. And I want you to take a look at the higher $24,000 range. Uh, I need you to take a look at around, you know, $24,878. Like, I want you to take a look at that target. Uh, actually, that's not right. Sorry, guys. I want you to take a look at this right here. Uh, $25,230. So $25,230. So that is this support right here. It is this resistance right here, now going to be a support. It is also this resistance right here, and that is also going to be a support. But the smartest way to look at this is to look at the entire range because we have a lot of point of reference. So you have all of this right here, so all of this right here, all of this right here, all of that right there, you know, in terms of resistance. And then you also have right here. So this is a range that I'm very, very, very interesting in. All right. Very interesting in this, uh, very interested in this range. The reason I'm very interested in this range is because if the current support is broken, if we break the current support, so basically the higher $24,000 range all the way up to the lower $25,000 range. So basically anywhere from, you know, 24,700 bucks all the way up to $25,300. If we break that support, your next targets are going to be in the lower $24,000. Actually, I mean, you can say exactly at $24,000. This is going to be the next support right here. So $24,000, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I need you to see what I'm touching right here. Uh, I'm touching this resistance. Going to be a new support. I'm also touching this resistance. Also going to be a new support. So Bitcoin is going to drop to $24,000 or, you know, the higher 23,000. And if we want to look at it from a range perspective, right? If we want to look at this entire range right here, this is going to be your next support. If we break, you know, the current support right here. And let me show you what that means for, you know, Bitcoin percentage wise. We just talked about the performance of Bitcoin in September. You know, we just talked about nasty September. And we just talked about the fact that on average, you know, if you look at the average of the negative performance in September, it's 8%. So let me show you what an 8% drop would do to the price of Bitcoin from, you know, uh, the current price, or excuse me, not from the current price, but from 
the top of the monthly candle to the bottom of the monthly candle uh right so if we go from the top right here so we opened you know september at twenty six thousand nine hundred and forty dollars so if we go all the way down and we do an eight percent drop so an eight percent drop will put the price of bitcoin around twenty four thousand six hundred and seventy three dollars so if we get the average drop in september the monthly september uh, the monthly candle is going to close at twenty four thousand six hundred and seventy three dollars so that's an eight percent drop from the top to the bottom all right now if we get a drop that is greater than 15 percent remember i'm speculating that one of these months i don't know which one is going to be the price of bitcoin is going to drop 15 percent or greater you know if we get something like that let me show you where that puts the price of bitcoin so if we go from the top of november you know where the monthly opened you know, a 15% drop will put the price of Bitcoin all the way down to $22,000. Now, let me show you something that's very interesting. If we continue to drop and we take out the current support and we also take out uh, the $23,000 range, if Bitcoin continues to go down, we also have some support you know, right down in this range right here. And that is around 22,000, you know, all the way down to $21,300. So let's move it all the way down here. So if we get a drop that is greater than 15%, if we get exactly a 15% drop, that will put the price of Bitcoin at twenty two thousand seven hundred and fifty two dollars. If we get something greater than a fifteen percent drop, then I'm looking at this potential area in the twenty one thousand all the way up to twenty two thousand as a potential price target, and that will be a twenty percent drop in the price of bitcoin and again this doesn't have to play out but i'm giving you different scenarios you know something different you know for you to have as a point of reference the last four months we're more likely to see you know two negative monthly performance in the price of bitcoin historically bitcoin has been you know, super negative in September. And in fact, in 2014, 2014, Bitcoin was down 19% in September. You know, that was the largest drop in September. That was 2014, 19%. In 2019, in 2019, Bitcoin was down 13% in november so if we get something you know greater than a 10 percent drop or greater than a 15 percent drop my friends you know you're looking at the price of bitcoin potentially retesting uh twenty two thousand or twenty three thousand dollars and of course you know don't rule out the fact that we could potentially drop you know all the way down here into this $21,000 range. And again, it doesn't have to. I'm showing you the chart and I'm also showing you the data. You know, take it however you want to take it, but it is what it is. And this is Bitcoin and we can't do anything, you know, to change whatever the price of Bitcoin is going to do. So, 
Another thing that I also talked about, you know, early on this week, when the price of Bitcoin, you know, skyrocketed all the way up to 28,000, was the weekly close. I was very clear, guys, that we shouldn't celebrate, you know, $28,000. It was not time to really celebrate. You know, what, what we should actually celebrate was a weekly close above the 21 weekly moving average. That was going to be something to celebrate and, you know, to, to get even more bullish, you know, next week's weekly close was going to be more important than this week's weekly close. So what I wanted to see from a bullish outlook was this week is weekly candle to close above the 21 weekly moving average. And I also wanted to see the following week to close above wherever this weekly close closes, right? So if this weekly candle closes around $27,000, I wanted to see the following week close above $27,000, maybe $27,100 or $27,500 you know, or even $28,000. Who cares, right? We just wanted to see something above wherever this weekly close closed right so now you look at the weekly close i mean it is all the way right here guys look at where i want you to take a look at where you know the price of bitcoin is right now it is all the way down here and what that means right is that it, it is going to be something for the price of bitcoin to close above twenty seven thousand five hundred and thirty dollars like it is going to take something very, very special because there's only about two more days left uh, in this week. We only got, a, well, actually three days, actually. We have today, Friday, we have Saturday, and then we also have Sunday. So if we want to get bullish, we need to close above $27,530. If this weekly candle closes below the 50 weekly moving average and the 21 weekly moving average, this right here, my friends, is a very strong confirmation. The more likely the price of Bitcoin is going to continue this pullback.